Nearly three weeks after feeling the wrath of Tropical Storm Ida, cities like Patterson are still struggling to get back on track. The devastation was felt in nearly every part of the city. Sections like Cobb Park hit particularly hard because of its close proximity to the Passaic River. Marilyn Hernandez, who lives a block from the park, lost her car and was forced to throw out hundreds of dollars of food that went bad when the power went out. I'm struggling. I don't have no job. I don't have nothing. I'm really, barely getting nothing out of it. So it's like, what am I supposed to do now? FEMA now on the ground in Patterson helping residents like Hernandez. Officials set up a staging area at Cobb Park on Monday, encouraging members of the community to register for aid that they're entitled to. It is always encouraging to have the Federal Emergency Management Agency here in the city of Patterson ready with their tablets, tablets to point people in the right direction. This city, which has been one of the cities very impacted by Hurricane Ida, that there's a lot of people in this community that has not registered yet. An unforeseen obstacle for FEMA is gaining the trust of the community with language barriers and in some cases a stigma when it comes to government interactions. The agency is currently sending teams to impacted neighborhoods where they're knocking on doors and working with local organizations to get the word out. Who knows better than the, the residents and those that work within the city? Even though online resources are available, face-to-face -face meetings with FEMA are highly recommended as it will prevent application errors, which have already resulted in a number of denial letters. Another hurdle they have been dealing with here in the city is the ongoing boil water advisory, which is expected to last another two to three weeks. Officials have been distributing water at a number of locations across the city. To get more details on that, head over to our website, pix11.com. In Patterson, I'm Andrew Ramos, Pix11 News.